Welcome to the Peel District School Board walkthrough as to how to access and use Google Classroom from home. When you go to peelschools.org, click on BYOD Login. At this screen, students, you will be asked to enter your student number at pdsb.net, along with your password that you use to log on to the computers at school. Our youngest learners may need some help with this step. Please click on Google for Education to see all of the tools that we are able to use in Peel. Here, you are able to click on Google Classroom, which will bring you to all of the classes in which you are enrolled. This is a student view of Google Classroom. Here is your stream. This is where you are able to see upcoming dates. You could share something with your class if your teacher has two-way communication set up and you can see any messages that your teacher communicates with you through this stream. You may or may not be able to communicate with your teacher from this screen, depending on their settings. We also have classwork tab up here. Your teacher may have organized all topics here. Essentially, you can click on a task, read the instructions, view any items that will help you better understand that task, and you can view an assignment. Once you view an assignment, you are then able to see if you have turned it in, you are able to unsubmit, or you are able to provide some private comments to your teachers. If you are seeing an assignment that you have not yet completed, you will click on view assignment, when we click on add or create, we can choose something from our Google Drive, or we can create a new doc, a new slide, a new sheet, or a new drawing, depending on what the task is asking you to do. Once our Google Slides has opened, you will see that the task is listed up there, and we are going to call this task 17. You would continue to add to your slides and communicate all of your understanding to your teacher through this. And now when we exit our Google Slides, you will see that our slide deck is automatically ready to submit. Here we are able to click on turn in and it will prompt us, are we ready to turn in this work? This is the slide deck that's been attached. I click on turn in and this will notify my teacher that my assignment is complete. If I decide that there is something I forgot, I can always unsubmit as long as the teacher hasn't assessed it and returned it. I can unsubmit and I can continue to work on that particular task or I could add a second link, for example. I could add a file. Again, I can add anything else. So you are able to actually submit multiple files here. Just remember that you need to click on turn in that you have completed that assignment. Other features of the Google Classroom, aside from stream class work, is the three bars over here. If you are using the Google Calendar, you can easily access that. And if you are enrolled in any other classes, you are able to access all of those classes from here. We hope that this walkthrough of how to access and use Google Classroom from home has been beneficial. If you have any questions at all, never hesitate, reach out to your teacher. Thank you.